What's up, fellas? Uh, hopefully you can see us. I don't know if the lighting's too well. I should probably take my hat off. Um, here with Frank, Rich. What's up, guys? And we're talking about, uh, so you hear a lot of people talk to you about meditation and talk about meditation, and Frank just made a really good point. Uh, so meditation for one guy can be different than it is for the other guy and I don't think men necessarily need to put on the the music and hum and ha and put their fingers in circles and whatever that the the hippies do and stuff like that meditation can be walking the dog or as Frank just said uh, uh, training so it's it's putting your mind into uh, a process that kind of takes your mind out of the process if that makes sense so for me it's like uh, getting in nature doing the hunting getting in somewhere where you kind of forget about what's going on and you're involved in putting one step in front of the other one foot in front of the other and you forget about the uh, uh, you go mindless is, is that yeah right? I think it's where um, where you can block out everything that's going on in your life um, and you maybe some people refer to it as entering a state of flow um, but where you for me it's it's the connection of the mind and the body in no other place in the world do I feel the two in unison like I do when I'm in the gym I before every set I envision what that set is a meant to accomplish so I always have an intentional goal behind why I'm training um, and I envision that before even picking up the weight or before even starting the set and then the execution aspect of that. So taking what I've envisioned and actually putting it into work and the process of making that particular muscle do what I'm trying to do with it. Um, and then the feeling afterwards of a slight sense of instant gratification or a sense of accomplishment because you just did what you set out, whether it was hitting a certain number of sets or feeling a muscle work in a way that you never have been and for me I use my training as a form of art so I am a competitive bodybuilder I've done uh, you know competitions for the past seven years so everything I do in the gym is based around building my physique um, and ultimately to the point that I can put my art out into the world whether it's just how I walk into a room or how I approach a person um, or in the, the end result being how I present my physique on stage Nobody can take that away from me. It's mine. Um, so yeah, it's just a conversation we were having, you know, kind of finding like what that really, really means to me is the training is, it's my place in the world that belongs to me. Nobody else can, can enter it um, unless I bring them into it, um, but I'm in complete control. And that's... So it's the, the control thing's a, a big one because... Um, talking with the lady about uh if she's feeling a certain way or whatever and i have no control over like it, it, I, I hate feeling helpless like if she's got uh, a headache or not feeling too good i don't like that helpless feeling and yeah. if, if you think about in life there's so little that we control that if you can have a microcosm or like a little area that's yours and it's just yours it's your training it's yep. your hunting it's your hiking it's whatever if you have an area of control so then jordan peterson i told you to listen to jordan peterson yeah so uh this is going to switch to some other a different topic uh, apart from motivation but maybe we should cut and do a different video but so the big thing with feeling purpose and feeling uh uh as if you're uh, like you, every human needs to feel in control yeah and you you can start feeling in control simply by making your bed in the morning cleaning your room taking control of everything around you and the problem with our society today is that we have access to like uh information all over the planet and we're we're genetically programmed to deal with information within a, a, a one, two, three, four mile radius. Yeah. Well, I think just going down the route where you're, you know, the direction where you're going is everybody, for the most part in today's world, lives in a reactive state. Mm -hmm. They're not in control from the minute they 
they wake up, the first thing they do in the morning is they, they pick up their phone, they flip open the social media, or they turn on the news, and at that point, they're reacting to what the outside world is giving them. So then the step is to? The step is to not do that, and A, plan your day out yeah. um, and take control of it. Um, of something small. Yeah, uh, making the bed, a small sense of accomplishment has already set you up. Like you're now accomplishing things for the, for the day. Like you've already done done one thing. Um, and we spoke this weekend about self-awareness, but just knowing who you are and what is your purpose in life? What is your goal? What are you trying to accomplish with every single day? Um, and not letting outside factors, this, you know, we can go into the topic of stoicism here, but you know, um, just not letting other people control your life if you're driving to work or if you're driving to a morning meeting or you're just out and about and somebody cuts you off you honking your horn and you know giving them the middle finger is now giving that person control over, over your, your life mood. and over your emotions yeah um at the end of the day like there's nothing you can do it's already happened they already pulled out in front of you so why letting that anger that emotion get inside of you is giving control of you to somebody else so it's just understanding little things like that i mean that's well, it's, way off the topic it, of. no but it's understanding it, topic what topic we'll call it a podcast yeah well it's understanding control or or too few people myself included i i, I give i don't realize how much control i have over what emotions i i attach or or i choose to follow or what decisions i choose to make or or whatever and if you can enact control over one little thing here and there making your bed brushing your teeth keeping your house clean instead of you get these college kids that are trying to change the world and they don't have their own life in order yeah. you know what i mean like it's like it's like everyone thinks that they're they're here to change the world today instead of take first taking tr control of their own life and it, it, within the business within all this stuff i really don't want to come across as someone that's trying to change things that are too so far beyond me like uh, at, at best I want to inspire or give some guys some tips uh, from things that I do in my own life and, and ways yeah. that I control using, my own life. using your experiences and, and what's working for you and not and just, just like sharing that shouting not just taking something that I saw over there and read that and it sounds really good so now I'm going to tell you to do it like no a you gotta like if something's coming out of your mouth it's got to be real and authentic and that's definitely something I get when I talk with you. Awesome. It's like you are 100% like who you are. Um, for good or for good or bad. Yeah, I mean, I spent <laughs> you know I spent you know a few weekends here with you the past couple months, and it's like this is Chad House. You know, like he's going to you know drink his beer, smoke his cigars. We're we're enjoying that right now, and uh, you know he's going to tell you what's on his mind, and um, whether or not if you like it, then that's that's up to you. It doesn't bother him, so. I definitely appreciate and respect that. That's awesome. Value I appreciate it. It's it's who you are and it's real. And what? I, I knew that from the first time I met you. Appreciate that a lot. One yeah. one thing that I've no, I've I've grown to do is I used to get uh, a little more flustered by different opinions. Now I'm just completely trying to understand them and like, fuck. Here's my opinion. If you agree with me, wicked. But yeah. the the this this mode of. Uh, we're all trying to change each other's opinions. It's yeah. not how it goes. Well, the thing is, Live we, by all example. Have, we all have different lives. We all have different experiences that we went through. You were born in Canada. You, you know, you live, and we were just talking about it's negative forty degrees where you Sometimes. live, and it's eighty degrees in yeah. Tampa where I'm from. So just that, you know, we live in two different. We live in the same world, obviously, but we live in two different parts of it. So our same daily planet, different worlds. Yeah, our, our daily experiences from what we do and what we're able to do is so different and that's going to shape how we see things and how we view things and what it is we want to do and neither one of us are right nor wrong um we're right if it's real to us yeah. and if it's what we believe in like so you know, was, you're busting each other's balls about a book that'll that'll be left unnamed here but uh yeah. you know we kind of had a different view on it and i think it just came from us kind of like looking at it in a different perspective but Completely. um you know that's i don't know like that's just kind of like it's real you know? yeah and then so then in my position and in your position we're not taking 
we're not taking uh, we're, we're taking what we've found in our own lives that we've implemented and has worked yeah so it's not opinion it's not it's not uh, theory it's it's whether it's training gym lifestyle stuff it's just like uh, like I've set my business up to or my life up to where I can try a lot of different things and so uh, it's kind of a disservice not to not to like I don't know okay I've done this try it I've researched this give this a shot yeah. I've implemented this so that's what oddly enough in today's world that's how you can earn you can earn a living yeah kind of giving people the the best practices and tips and so forth in your life yeah but, and it's, you know it's, it's kind of funny because you know I mentioned you know I've, I've done competitions and I've you know competed and I've gone on probably more of a strict diet than most people would ever want to to do but when I did that when I started that process or that contest preparation I made the decision that I was going to accomplish that long-term goal so it's funny because during you know during these times when I was really dieting I was really strict on what I was eating I would have friends or people that were close to me and they would you know they would hold food in front of my face and oh don't you want this and they would almost like in a way try to tease me and their reaction a lot of times were just didn't even no response or emotion out of me like they were almost like unsatisfied because I didn't give them that feeling of oh I wish I could have that but I can't because I made the decision I was not going to do it like it's if I wanted to eat a piece of cake right now I fucking would but I don't I don't want it because it doesn't align with a, what I'm trying to accomplish yeah. in my life I mean I've definitely eaten my fair share of cake um, or anything but when I set out to do something it's the goal that I set and I'm gonna make sure that every single step that I take along that process is moving me closer to that goal. And that's not just related to to bodybuilding competition. I just think maybe a lot of people can cannot kind of understand that because they know somebody that's been on a stricter diet and you're doing you know, you're doing yourself a disservice by trying to tease them or say, Oh, don't you wish you could have this right now? Like at the end of the day, you're the one that kinda of looks ignorant, um, in my in my eyes, because I think you know, respect that person because they're they're setting a goal for themselves, and they're you know they're 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 sticking to their process and they're sticking to their plan. Yeah. Um, and as long as they're doing it for the right reasons, um, bodybuilding has had a big part in my life and the things that I've accomplished, and you know, starting multiple businesses and and now really trying to help men along the way. So um, you know, it's a big part of of who I am, and I think a lot of the the discipline and stuff that I'm able to apply in my life are things that I've learned from, from those preps. Wicked. So, uh, trying to get some marching orders, some tips from this. Uh, we're outside smoking a stogie right next to the Midway ship right there in San Diego. It's pretty fucking wicked. Veterans um, Day weekend. Yeah, Veterans Day weekend and we're, we're, we're right by Midway or the Midway ship there. So, marching orders a uh, couple things i learned from this weekend um uh, one is what we just talked about the meditation find some form of meditation i'm not a meditator i don't sit down and turn some music on and hum and ha but i walk my dog for 30 minutes 45 minutes every morning and that sets me off right uh go to the mountains go to the gym find some little area with that it's yours it's no one else's and uh and you can kind of get some clarity in that. Any, any other marching orders? Yeah, um, you know, find find what you want to do. You know, if, if just, you know, just bring it back to training to kind of close it down, you know, um, I have a way of training. Chad has completely different philosophies in training that he does. Maybe they're right for you, maybe they're not. Um, you know, I'm, I have certain principles that I teach, but if what you like, if what I have is not what you like, then don't do it find something though because I think being able to be in tune with the physical being that you are is very important you know human beings are meant to be active so whether that is crossfit or powerlifting or bodybuilding ish type of training or literally taking an axe out to the woods and chopping down a tree if that is what excites you and that's what gives you the adrenaline rush of being physical is then do that um, not because it's cool, not because it's the new fad, but it's because you, it's what you want to do. Awesome. And I'll add 
Um, two more things. One, we talked about it. Uh, control, uh, trying to control what you can control. So we have too many people trying to change the world and they have no clue about what's going on in their own life. Uh, they're like trying to solve world problems and take marches, go on marches and protests and all this shit. And their houses are a mess and they're not making any money. They're, they can't feed their family. Like all this, these, these youngins these days, I guess. Uh, so control what's in your own home. Control what's in your own life before you even think about doing anything else. And second, Frank touched on it a little bit. Uh, kind of. It's, it's, it's uh, training, but get some pain in your life. Get some physical pain in your life. Like get something that makes you want to quit every day. Whether it's running hills, training in the gym, uh, you know, get something that pushes you to the point where you want to quit and don't quite quit. And you're going to be a better man because of it. With that, I'll, I don't know where this is going to go up. It's going to go up on YouTube, maybe iTunes, see how the audio is, but I'll put links to Frank's stuff. Uh, so we'll def definitely check out Frank's stuff. Yeah, sure. uh, he's got some great training stuff, especially for those guys who've been training for a bit but aren't satisfied with the results. Uh, so we'll put links to Frank's stuff. And then uh, all this has to do with discipline to some degree, so I'll put a link to the Lost Art of Discipline down below as well. Check that out. And uh, also on the sidebar, if this is on the YouTube, uh, click one of those videos with my name on it and watch another one. All right, take care.